Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We're here with uh, another video lecture. Uh, today, we're going to talk about superlative degrees of an adjective. You have already studied in our previous lectures about uh, comparative and superlative, uh, comparative and positive. So the third degree of an adjective that is called superlative degree of an adjective. What is superlative degree of an adjective? Let's talk about this. Superlative degree of an adjective, it is used number one to compare one person with a group of people. Or number two, to compare one thing with a group of things. Or number three, to compare one place with a group of places. So this is the definition. Uh, where it's in comparative degree, we studied that to compare one person with another person, one place with another per person, place or one thing with another thing. But uh, where is like uh, superlative degrees are concerned, we compare one person with whole group, clear? With entire group. Group of things, group of people, group of places. So let's study in more detail. Uh, here we want to go with the first definition. We use superlative degree of an adjective to compare one person with a group of persons, one thing with a group of things, one place with a group of things, uh, one place with a group of places, clear? Or to point out uh, that who or which is higher or lower in quality. Or we can say, it is used to show the highest or lowest quality of something or someone. Or we can say, we use the before superlative form of an adjective. All right, let's come towards the uh, examples. Look at this example. Ali is the tallest boy of the class. So if I say Ali is the tallest boy of the class, there could be a lot number of students in the class. So we want to compare only one Ali with the whole class, with all students in the class. So we have used what we have used here, tallest. So now what is tallest in this case? Tallest is called uh, superlative degree of an adjective. Tall is positive, taller is comparative, superlative is tallest. And if you look before tallest, we have used the. Before superlative degree of an adjective, we use what? We use the. Ali is the, is the tallest boy in the class. Uh, we have like, for example, next, Peshawar is the, hottest city in Pakistan. Like in, like in Pakistan, we have, a, we have got many cities. So we want to compare uh, Peshawar with rest of the cities. So we have used what? Hot, positive, hotter, comparative, hottest, superlative degree uh, uh, in Pakistan. And we have used that before this one. Lion, uh, lion is the most dangerous animal of the world. So now can you see? Most dangerous, dangerous, most dangerous. We will study the rules why we have used most dangerous, clear? So we have compared line with the rest of the animals in the world. So now we will move with the uh, rules, how that we can uh, uh, go for that of comparative, superlative, clear, and uh, for, from positive. So all the rules we will study now here. Uh, we want to study for regular adjectives, clear? Rules are always for regular, like we have already studied about what are regular and irregular adjectives in our previous lecture. If you haven't studied yet, you can watch the video on YouTube for yourself. Regular adjectives are those adjectives, clear? Uh, that takes what they take, ST, EST, clear? Most or least to change from positive adjective into superlative form or uh, the, uh, of an adjective, clear? So to change from positive into superlative, if it takes what? If it takes ST, EST, most or least, so we call it regular adjectives. So let's talk about the rules for regular adjectives. What are the rules? How to change a uh, positive degree into superlative form of an adjective. Now let's come towards the first rule. For adjectives with one syllable, if an adjective you have, and there is one syllable, what I mean by one syllable, one syllable means if you can pronounce it in one sound, Clear? And one vice. So we call it one syllable. Like for example, tall, tall, tall. It has got one syllable only. Tall, we can like say it in one vice. Clear? Tall. But if I say beautiful, beautiful, how many syllables? Two syllables. 
we talk about one syllable adjective. If an adjective, it is one syllable, clear? So it takes what it takes, S E S T at the end. In superlative form to change, it will take what E S T. Like tall, tallest, it takes what E S T at the end. Small, smallest, it takes E S T. Long, longest, E S T. Short, shortest, E S T. White, widest, E S T. Cold, coldest, clear, E S T at the end. So those adjectives, they are one syllable to change from positive and to superlative. We will add what? EST and the end. Let's talk about another uh, rule here. Uh, another rule we have for adjectives. What is that? Uh, when an adjective ends with letter E, if you have one syllable adjective, how many syllables? One syllable. But that adjective, it ends with what? It ends with E, clear? In this case, what do we do? We just only put what? E uh, with if it ends with E, we just only put ST to con to convert clear uh, for that of from comparative into superlative form. Like for example, we have in this case wise, W I S E wise. It ends with what? It ends with E. So we will put ST here because E is already present here. Wise clear wisest large. It ends with E. We will put only ST largest. Wide, widest, fine, finest, clear? This is the second rule to change positive degree of an adjective into comparative, superlative form. The third rule we want to study here, this is the third rule. When one syllable adjective, clear, it ends in consonant, vowel plus consonant, if it follows this formula. I have written here formula for you people, clear? If it follows this formula, consonant, vowel plus consonant. If there is consonant, vowel plus consonant, uh, keep your hello online student. Keep your mic on silent mode, please. Mute it. Okay. So what did I say? If there is an adjective and it follows this formula, clear? Let me write down this formula for you. If it follows consonant plus. Vowel plus consonant. If there is one syllable adjective and it follows this formula, clear? Like for example, if I say big, B, I, G, big. It is one syllable, but it follows this formula. What we need to do here with this type of an adjective, we will double the last consonant. Like double G will be double then in that case. And then we will add what? We will add again uh, EST. So it becomes what? Biggest, clear? It will change into what? It will change into like we have B I G, last consonant would be double, and then we will put EST. So it changes into biggest. For example, if I say heart, again it follows consonant plus vowel is the middle, and then, then we will double what? It will become H O double T E S T. Clear? Uh, hot, hottest. Hot, hottest. It becomes hottest. Like we have fate. F A T. Again, this follows this formula. So we will say F A double T. T will be E S T. Fatest. For example, wit. V E T. Wit. So again, we will double the last T. Wit test. Clear? So this is the, the this is the rule that you need to follow for that of uh, superlative form. If you want to change it, follow this formula. And here is. Uh, I have written like an explanation has been given. When one syllable adjective ends in consonant plus vowel plus consonant, C, V, C, this formula, clear? We double the last consonant and add E, S, T for the comparative form. Like big, biggest, heart, hottest. Last consonants are double here. Fate, fatest, weight, wittest. Uh, but remember one thing in this case, that if it follows the same formula, but if a word like it ends with W or X, this if, if a word you have clear, it follows this formula, but in this case, it follows consonant plus vowel plus consonant. But the last consonant, the last consonant, if it is W or it is X, then we do not double the last consonant in this case. We will not double the last consonant. For example, if I say new, 
it follows the same formula, but to change into comparative, uh, we do not double the last consonant here, W, clear? We will put here new and EW, just put newest. EST will put at the end. New, newest, clear? New, we will have new, newest. It comes uh, WST at the end. For example, we have Lex. It ends with what? It ends with X. It follows the same formula, but we do not double the last consonant. We will say what? Lex, Lexis, clear? EST we will just only put here. So it's an exceptional case that you should understand about it, clear, easily. Now, let's move here with the next case. Uh, next case we have rule number four. If the if you have more than one syllable clear, or if there is two syllable adjective clear, but that adjective it ends with what? It ends with y. If it is more than two syllable, but if it ends with y, then we will remove the y clear and add what i e s t to add to the end of that adjective. It will it will change into what? It will change into superlative. Let me give you an example here. Look, for example, we have happy. Happy is an adjective. Happy, clear? It ends with what? It ends with Y. So what we need to do, H A double P, Y in place of Y, we will change into I. And then we will add what? Plus E S T, clear? So it becomes what? Happiest. This is the superlative form. So here are more examples for you. Happy, happiest. Crazy, craziest. We have got crazy, clear. So crazy is craziest. Uh, funny, funny, funniest, clear. It, it, there's the superlative uh, comparative we have written, but the superlative form, clear. Funny, funniest. Busy, busiest. Early, earliest. Angry, angriest. So this is what we we call them. Uh, there are the superlative degrees of an adjective. If it ends with Y, then you need to put what? You need to put that off. Uh, you will change Y into I, and then you will put uh, EST at the end of that. Now, we want to come up towards if you have got adjectives, and they are more than one, more than one syllable, but these adjectives, they do not end with Y. If these are more than one syllable adjective, but they don't end with what? They don't end with Y. Then what we need to do is, we will put here least or, then in that case, we want to put least or most. For example, you have more than one syllable adjective. Let me explain it here. Suppose if I say beautiful, B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L. Now, can you see beautiful? It does not finishes with Y. It is more than one syllable, but it, is, it doesn't finish with more than one syllable, clear? And it doesn't finish with Y. What we need to do is, uh, we will put at the beginning most clear, most is positive, high, and if it is low quality, then you can put least. Most or least, beautiful. You'll put most or least, beautiful. Like for example, if I say careful. So careful becomes what? It becomes most, most careful or least careful. For example, if I say, uh, intelligent so intelligent becomes more intelligent or you can say less intelligent Le least intelligent clear uh, more is for comparative sorry so this is what we have uh, the for what for that of your superlative. Here, here are more examples. You can look at here. Adjective with two more than two syllable, clear. They do not end with Y. We add most or least for superlative, not comparative. Like modern, mo most modern or least modern. Peaceful, most uh, or least peaceful. Careful, most or least careful. Generous, most or least generous. Beautiful, most or least beautiful. Intelligent, most or least intelligent. Now we want to move with the next one. And that is what we call them uh, irregular adjectives. We studied so far regular, now we want to study about irregular adjectives. Uh, or, sorry, before going towards irregular adjectives, 
the sixth rule we want to study for the regular. If you have an adjective and it ends with E R L E or O W. If an adjective it is more than one syllable adjective, but it ends with what it ends with. Let me put it here. If an adjective there is more than one syllable, but it ends with what with E R or if it ends with, uh, for example, L-E or O-W. Now it has got two possibilities. For example, if I say uh, clever, C-L-E-V-E-R, it ends with what? Clever, with E-R, more than one syllable, E-R. Now it has got two possibilities. Either you people can say cleverest, this is also correct, or you can also call it most or least most or least clever both options are correct most or least clever it has got like both options and both of them are correct why because it ends with er the same case like it with the second one if it ends with what e l e like for example sample it ends with what with l e sample so again, it has got both options. You people can say same list or you can also call it most or least sample. Or for example, if an adjective, it ends with what? With OW, like if I say narrow, so both possibilities are possible here. Ne row clear narrowest this is also correct or you can put most or least narrow this is also correct it depends on you uh, which one do you want to use clear so this is the sixth rule this one we have already mentioned here uh, some exceptions with two syllable adjectives ending in E R L E or O W. These adjectives can be used clear uh, with E S T and with most or least. For example, narrow, narrowest, and the same example, you people can follow them. Now we want to move to the next topic clear. Next rule, they are called irregular adjectives. Uh, irregular adjectives are those adjectives, they do not follow any rules and regulations, clear? To change from positive into comparative superlative, it doesn't follow any rule of any regulation, or it does not take ST, EST, or IEST, or least or most clear in comparative and superlative form. Like, that is what good. What is the superlative form of good and irregular? Best. Bad, worst. We have far, clear? This is far, not far. It is far f a r far then we we call it what farther or furthest little least many or much its superlative is most old oldest or uh, eldest you can say oldest or eldest these are there are two uh, options but look at here for far we have used two uh, superlative adjectives that is farthest or furthest. And again with the old one, it is oldest or eldest. So why do we use two forms for it? What could be the difference between old, uh, oldest or eldest? What can be the difference between farthest or furthest? Clear? Let's explain them. Uh, farthest and furthest, clear? What, what can be the differences between these two? If you want, we use both, clear? We use uh, let me point it out for you. We use both farthest and furthest for distance. Like if you mean distance, we can use both of them and both of them has got same meaning. But if you mean clear, additional or extra, then we only use what furthest, if you are T-H-E-S, clear? Furthest, we have some of the uh, spelling mistakes. This is what furthest. So, 
For this is only used with what? With additional or extra. For example, Karachi is farthest or furthest. Like among these two, if you use any of them for the distance, both of them are what? Both of them are correct. If you say Karachi is farthest or Karachi is furthest than Lahore from here, it's correct. But if you mean additional information, then you will only use what? The U one, not A one. You can say, if you need furthest information, please contact reception. Furthest. For additional means, only U one will be used. You cannot use like this case, clear? You will not, this will be incorrect. If you want to use this one. This is now wrong. This one is right, but the second one, this one is now incorrect. Why? Because as I said, if you mean uh, further information, then we will only use U1, not A. For distance, both of them can be used. Clear? But for further or extra, we cannot use A1. If they're not U, only U will be used. Uh, after this, we want to study about Uh, the next difference, next difference we have, that is with older, oldest or eldest. Again, it has got two forms. So when do we use oldest and when we will use eldest? Play, what is the difference between oldest and eldest? Eldest is only used for human beings. Remember that eldest, eldest one, it is only used for what? For human being, especially when comparing the ages of people, clear, uh, member of the same family. In the same family, if you want to uh, compare, clear, you want to do comparison, two things are here. Number one, first of all, you should know about that eldest is used for human being, not for things or clear. It, it, just, it, it is only used for what? For human being only. Number one. Number two, it is used for what? It is used for people of the same family members. To come start the family members we. Well, khabar apa dekhe? That eldest is followed by a noun. A noun ba ne wo follow ki ge. Taus ta example na badal ta ke noor clear shi. Example taus ta dar kum taus ta bos clear shi. Guri guri no. Ali is my eldest brother. Look at here. We use eldest hair for one case. It is only used for what? For human. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. For the member of the same family. Uh, Ali is my eldest friend. Because friend is not of your family member. And this is used among the people of your own family. Like he is my clear eldest uncle. He is my eldest brother. Do you have a khabarada? Dream number khabarada wa pa deke. Che the eldest na baad bamangar noun lagu. Saba lagu? We use noun. We use noun after this. Like if you look here, Ali is my eldest brother. We have already used what? We have used noun here. Ali is my eldest brother. We're, the second one is concerned oldest, this one. Oldest is used for both human being and things. That word of the Paris It can be used for human being plus for things. For eldest cannot be used for what it cannot be used for things. It is only used for people. And do not refer to the same family member. Oldest should the same family member not represent me. How? Here is an example. Look. The example to gore. Ali is my eldest brother. The khobar ta usama example darko. We cannot say that Ali is oldest brother. Da galat the. Why? Because Ali belongs to your family member. He is your brother. No ta bata sene which Ali is my oldest brother. In 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 place of that, how would you say that Ali is my eldest brother? Because he belongs to your family member. Tikda number one. But dekho su gore. 
My car is the oldest car of the city. So go ready, Jumleta. My car, no oldest. Zezaka is the maluma. Why do I use oldest? Zezaka chaga. Thing there. For thing we cannot use eldest. You cannot say that my car is the eldest car in the city. Da galat the. But my car is the oldest car in the city. Tick show. That's the oldest way. Way eldest ne she wale. Zezaka che oldest che kamdi aga shayinu the paris ne maligi. Or for example, you say like he's your friend or he's your classmate. Father, family member, na na de. How do you people say that Ali is the oldest student in the class? Ali is the oldest student in the class. You can say that that way then. Clear? Ha. The other na badi obul rule manga dal tayew. That kachir ta kyan case if you have these. Adjectives, clear. Following clear, uh, these adjectives. To come adjective, mung sarasa share ashi. Senior, junior, inferior, superior, clear. Nudi ke munga sabiyo. We want to say the most, the senior most. Ali is the senior most pa munga sabiyo. Dasa manu chhi Ali is the most senior. That be a galat pi mung sarasa. Taso basanga wai pade ki. Ha, you people would say not. The most senior. That be a galat chumong sir. To show it's incorrect. You cannot say the most senior, but in fact you will say the senior most, the junior most. Is the junior most imply at Excel? Is the senior clear? Is the senior most imply at Excel? A comparative ke the kanoru ke mangga then istemalo. Agas sanga mangga istemalo. Ali is taller. Then Ahmad. Upa superlative ki mangga sangaviu. Padi ke gora chikam comparative de. How would you say? Kachita ki junior or senior ra shagi ke basu. Ali is senior to Ahmad. Comparison ko de Ahmad au dao. But dalta ki humanga then iste malu. और कल लेके कचर तक की सीनियर और जूनियर राशि ने बेवकूफ प्रपोजिशन से शी इस्तेमाल की टू इस्तेमाल की यू कैन नॉट से यू विल नॉट से दैट अली इज सीनियर देन मी और अली सीनियर देन अहमद द गलत है बिया खा देखो मंगा देन नहीं इस्तेमाल हो सब इस्तेमाल हो उधर तक की टू बाय इस्तेमाल हो वी विल यूज टू अली इज टू सीनियर टू अहमद अली इज जूनियर टू अहमद अ Ali is inferior to Ahmad. Ali is superior to Ahmad. Two by istimali ke, then bani istimali ke. If in case you have uh, that of you know uh, adjective senior, junior, inferior, superior, then salur sarvata sala gawai. Two bala gawai, then bani istimali ke. Or for superlative ke baza ko munga, we will not use the most senior, but in fact we will use the senior most, the junior most. Tik shu pagi ke bata dal ko. So it was all about your superlative degree of an adjective, and tomorrow, inshallah, we will study about the types, all types of an adjectives, inshallah. Thank you so much.